みなさんこんにちは今日は本当にありがとうございます日本に戻ってくれて本当に嬉しいです Oh, I'm so nervous. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I remember the first day when I walked in. I, have, of course, had watched Tell Me a lot about Naoki. I was very curious. I walked in, met him at rehearsals, and it was so obvious the kind of like, in-depth work and preparation that he had put into doing this character.、Um, you know, the excitement of doing this transition too, also from the dancing background and to acting and working in English.、Um, but yeah, he was walking around with his camera all the time. And, and、um, you know, it's, it's interesting because he just has this, you know, he has a story being told behind his eyes. And I think that comes from his dance training and that does fit. Extremely well on camera.、Um, so I, it was a joy getting to work with Naoki and getting to know him. And I think we had a very close、um, working relationship when we both kind of pushed one another, but also kind of was there as a safety net and like helped one another. So it was a very good, very good shoot. Alicia was a 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 very good shoot. そうですねあの日本に生まれ育って日本語を使って育ったので自分の母国語ではないのでその分トレーニングは必要だったので準備をしっかりして臨みましたただあのこのテイジという役には同じ日本に生まれ育った人間として共感する部分本人が内に秘めているあの価値観であったり大切なものっていうところではリンクする部分があったのでそこからいろいろ探していくことをした中で、まあ、日本の文化やえー、とカ,ルチャーカルチャーや価値観に関して精神性に関してはウォシュともたくさんいろんな話をして役作りを共にさせてもらったりアリシアともシーンの中であの実際にお互いの,その役またその役を超えて役者同士として信頼関係を築くことができたのでそういった意味であのウォッシュ、アリシアはじめ皆さんにはすごくサポートしてもらいました。えー、また今回のことをきっかけにあの先日ロンドン映画祭でもリドリー・スコットさんの方からあの映画にとって必要な存在感が君にはあるから続けた方がいいという言葉もいただいたりまた、ウォーシュマリシャもまたぜひ仕事をしようという言葉もくれているのでぜひあの日本語も英語も使いながらこれからも2人を追いかけて挑戦していきたいなと思っています。Uh, Um, I've, I've, since I was a kid, wanted to go to Japan. And the idea of it being a very different culture, and you know, that、uh, you come here, and of course it is, but I found so many things. So in Sweden, we, the, the, the kind of、um, aesthetics, the, what we do, like very minimalist kind of、uh, surroundings, it's a lot of wood and glass, and、uh, we'd like to queue. A lot in Sweden. We do take off our shoes when we go into your house. Um, we um, we do, do eat a lot of pickles, raw fish.、Um, so, yeah, along the way, I, was like, I just started to feel like Jap- 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 Japan and Sweden were much closer than I ever, ever thought.、Um, when we were making the film, I was、uh, very conscious of wanting it to be authentic to、uh, Japanese. Experience and the Japanese way of life. Of course, I am from England and I've lived in Japan、um, when I was younger, but I couldn't do that job on my own. So I had incredible collaborators.、Um, my production designer, Yohei Taneda, who really worked hard to create 1989 Tokyo, costume designer, Kumiko Ogawa. And a hair and makeup person, Wakana Yoshihara. So we formed like a, a creative team. I didn't think about what people would think when they were watching the film later in the world. I just thought about this moment now and how to make the story real and authentic. <laughs>